In this AYM for Training video, you'll learn how to use blind carbon copy in your email software to hide that large list of recipients people often see in the bulk emails that you may send. The programs we're going to be discussing are America Online, or AOL, Microsoft Outlook, Macintosh Mail, Mozilla Thunderbird, Yahoo Mail, Google Gmail, and Hotmail, which is now called Windows Live. Have you ever received an email that looked like this? with a giant list of all the other email addresses of all the people who received that email. This email was sent by somebody putting all their recipients' addresses in the To section of their email software. And this email is the result of people forwarding the emails of other people who listed all their recipients in the To section. I'm going to show you where to find the BCC, or Blind Carbon Copy sections, in various email programs so you can send emails that don't expose other people's email addresses to people who don't need to see them. The Windows version of the America Online or AOL interface is a little counterintuitive for sending BCC emails. Here, when you hit the Write button, you're presented with a To and Copy To field, which would be like CC or Carbon Copy. There is no BCC field available, so what we do is enter the BCC addresses within parentheses in the Copy To section. An AOL username would be entered in parentheses without the at sign and the next part of the address, and we'd use a comma to separate out the addresses. Subsequent addresses that are not AOL usernames would be entered normally within their own parentheses. AOL also gives us an address book option from which we can select multiple addresses using the control key in the Windows operating system and hitting the BCC button at the bottom of that window. Each of these entries will be entered correctly as BCC items in the Copy To area. In AOL Desktop for Mac, when you open up the Mail button and click Write Mail, again we're not presented with a BCC field. To and CC come up, but they make it kind of tricky here. In this version, AOL Desktop for Mac, we need to find BCC from the right-hand side drop-down menu. When we select BCC, we get our BCC field into which we can enter our multiple email addresses, again separating each with commas. A lot of people still use the original AOL interface. For those people, when they hit the Write button, they don't automatically see the BCC option. You'll have to actually click that drop-down menu to get to BCC. When we type an email address now, we can hit Tab or we can click underneath to get a new BCC field. It automatically knows we're using BCCs. And as always with AOL, if you have somebody with a simple AOL screen name, you don't have to put in the entire email address. You can simply type their screen name. If I hit Send, of course, everything goes out with the BCC and nobody sees the addresses. Another way to get to that is through the address book, where I can use the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac to select multiple addresses, hit the blind carbon copy option, and those automatically show up in that area. In Microsoft Outlook for either Windows 2007, 2010, or the Macintosh 2011 versions, when we make the selection for new email, we're presented with a To and Carbon Copy area. Using either of these fields will make all recipients visible to all other recipients. To enable the blind Carbon Copy field, what we need to do is go to the Options tab, in which case you'll see a section called Show BCC. This creates a blind carbon copy field. If we want to include an address inside here, we can type in our address. Each individual address needs to be separated out with a semicolon. So you could type in continuing addresses through this list, or you can use the BCC button to select individual names and email addresses that you may want to use. You can select multiples by using your control key. 
this will automatically, if I hit the BCC here, add that to the blind carbon copy area. The Macintosh's native email software named Apple Mail surprisingly doesn't automatically come up with a BCC field. It depends on what version you have. If you hit the new message button, you'll only see a two field. In order to access the CC field and the BCC field, you have to go to the view menu and turn on the CC and or the BCC address fields. Here, you can enter email addresses. If you enter names that are in your address book, you complete each entry with the return key. If you manually enter regular addresses, hitting space will separate your entries with an automatic comma. We can then continue with the subject and content as usual. Mozilla Thunderbird is a very popular email client software on both the Windows and Macintosh platforms. It's developed by the same people who make Firefox, and it's free and very powerful, which may explain its popularity. To create a new message, we click Write a New Message. Again, it's unclear where to create a blind carbon copy. We're looking at the Windows version here, so here's a look at the same screen in the Mac version. You can see they're very similar, and they function similarly as well. If I type an address in the To section, any subsequent address I enter will list as a To. However, if I click on the word To and change it to BCC, Blind Carbon Copy, now when I enter email addresses, each additional address will automatically use BCC. You can also select the BCC before entering any addresses, and Thunderbird will continue to enter your addresses as BCCs. This functionality is exactly the same in the Mac version and the Windows version. Please note, when creating new emails, the BCC preference is not remembered, and you'll need to make the decision whether or not you want to use BCC for each subsequent email. When using online mail interfaces, for example, Yahoo Mail, Gmail, Hotmail, and others, all of them are intended to be used in any web browser and will look essentially the same in Mac or Windows. Here we have the newer Yahoo Mail interface. The old interface had the new button in a slightly different area, but even here, we're not given a BCC option. Here, to get the BCC field, we have to hit this Show BCC button to get our BCC field. In Yahoo Mail, addresses are separated by commas, and then we just continue to enter our information as we've been doing in every other program. Gmail is another online email environment that's intended to look and function in the same way in any browser and on any platform, Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. In Gmail, when we hit the Compose Mail button, we're presented with only a two option, but Gmail makes accessing the BCC area a little more obvious. The Add BCC link opens up a field into which I can enter as many multiple addresses as I wish, separated by commas. Another popular online email client, much like Gmail, Yahoo, and others, has been Hotmail. Now, Hotmail's been around for a really long time, but it's recently changed, and it's now accessed through Windows Live, which provides several other online services. Despite the Windows-centric nature of Windows Live, many of their services, including Hotmail, work for the Mac as well. When sending a Hotmail email through Windows Live, the new button presents you with a To field. Accessing a BCC field is done through a link on the right-hand side of your screen. In Hotmail, we don't need to separate email addresses with commas. Using the spacebar or hitting the Enter key in Windows or Return on a Mac will separate individual addresses entered into that field. Thank you for watching this AYM for Training tutorial. We hope you found the video informative and helpful and that we taught you something new. AYM for Training offers instruction in a variety of formats. For more information, please visit our website at www.aym4training.com.